Nope. I think I might have overestimated the easiness of this project. This time, I'm going to show you how to easily and cheaply store your project car's hood. Everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vehicle Garage. If you're anything like me, you might have some projects sitting around, and one of the things that frequently happens with a project car is the hood comes off. For example, this is the hood for my 1985 Trans Am that I started an engine swap on many years ago and is currently sitting here in the garage under a pile of boxes. Sadly, that project is about 90% done and that's how it sat. But I've got several other things I need to work on before I can devote attention to that particular project. But in the meantime, it would be really great to get the hood for this up and out of the way so that I have some more space here to work on the other projects in the garage. So obviously storing the hood like this isn't taking up a tremendous amount of room, but this is a lot of wall space that I could use to put some hooks and hang things or put some shelves up here and get even more storage out of this particular space. So what we're going to do is this. If you've got a garage, then one of the frequently underutilized areas is the ceiling. So what we're going to do is build a shelf to store the hood on up here on the ceiling. I could put it on this part of the ceiling, but unfortunately that's where all of my lights are. So if I put it up there, it's going to block the light. There's probably about enough space right here where I have spaced out my lights, but there's the Trans Am that the hood belongs to. I know, don't judge me, it's, it's bad. But don't worry, this car is gonna get some love at some point in the future. So that would be a decent place. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is put it up here above the garage door. There's no lights back there. The only downside to using this location is there's not very much depth. So the way I'm gonna accomplish this is with a bunch of two by fours. And if you do this correctly, you should be able to easily do this for less than $20. Now I use two by fours here. You could do this even cheaper by getting some two by threes. Um, I already have these loaded up on the cart at Home Depot when I realized the stack above this was two by threes and they were about a dollar cheaper a piece. So including tax, these six eight foot two by fours were $22. So a little over 20 bucks, but you could easily make it under 20 bucks if you get the two by threes. In that case, it would have been closer to $15. The only other thing I'm going to need to complete this project, other than a saw, of course, is some screws. I didn't buy any because I've got a bunch of screws sitting around here. And even if you had to buy the screws themselves, that's another eight or nine dollars. So all said and done, you could do this from scratch without having any materials at home for under thirty dollars. So let's get started. So the first thing, obviously, before we start cutting up any of the two by fours, we need to make sure we know what the size of the hood is. So get a tape measure out and get at least a rough measurement. Doesn't have to be too perfect here, but so I'm looking at uh, this hood is about or almost exactly 62 inches wide. So obviously we're going to need to be a little bit wider than that to have room to slide it in and out of there. So 62, we're going to say 66 inches. That's going to give us two inches on either side of the hood to slide that in and out of there. So make note of that. Then we need to know how tall or deep, depending on how you're looking at this. And that is, we'll go here to the furthest point. That's about 64 inches that way. That measurement doesn't need to be quite as accurate. Then the other thing you need to make note of, especially with doing it the limited space above the garage door, is how deep you're going to make it this way. The, the hood itself obviously isn't that deep. There is a little bit of a curvature to it. And then of course down here, there's also the hood latch, which is gonna be the deepest part that we've got to watch out for. So this I'm just gonna kind of guess on. That's probably in the realm of six inches. Equally as important as the depth on that hood is the space that we have here on the ceiling. So. So between the ceiling and the garage door, there's just over eight and a quarter inches. So eight inches from the ceiling is going to be about as far down as we can come to make sure that we've got a little bit of clearance between the garage door and the shelf we're going to build. 
That's gonna be cutting it close, but I think in this case, that will give us just enough room to store the hood up there. So the other thing, I'm not gonna to get too fancy with how I attach this. My plan is to cut these two by fours, poke them through the sheetrock, and then up here in the roof framing, I'm just going to screw these directly into those two by fours for the trusses. And that should be plenty of strength to hold the hood up. I need the down pieces to be eight inches. I wanna go up here and get them basically to the top of the two by four. That's another four inches. So I'm gonna make each cut for my upright pieces, 12 inches long. Obviously these don't have to be perfectly exact, but I wanna make sure these don't stick up above the roof trusses in the attic if I can help it. Okay, now I got my four pieces cut. So now we need to figure out where the first one's gonna go and then we'll measure everything else off of that. So obviously I can't go past the track for the garage door opener here. So I think somewhere about in here is gonna be a good spot. So what I need to do is make a hole in the drywall right here. All right, so there's the first hole. So this is just gonna go up in here like this and then you get the idea. I've got uh, my first two pieces in there, no problem. I installed the third one over here. And the first time I put the garage door down, it barely moved at all before it hit that. I just climbed all the way back up in the attic and moved it. And the second time here, I got it almost to close and then the last panel here hits. So I need to go up there and raise it up again. Obviously I don't have the same full eight inches of clearance I have here when the door is flat. When it's coming up, it's coming closer to the ceiling there. So I need to adjust that again. Okay, so just got a little bit drastic and got the Sawzall out there to fix this. Now the garage door is able to go down rather than climbing back up in the attic and unscrewing it and raising it up and, and doing all that again. I decided just to take the saws out and zip the bottom of it off there and give me the clearance I need that way. A third option would have been to cut a bigger hole in the drywall here so that I didn't have to climb up in there in the attic to do this, but I went with the saws off. Now I might have run into another issue here that I wasn't quite expecting. After cutting it, if you can see that, I've only got about five and a half inches, which on these others that I've installed it should be closer to eight inches. So I need to double check and confirm that five and a half inches here is going to give me enough space to put the hood up there. And if that doesn't work, the other option would be to move from this roof truss that I used and catch the next one closer. By doing that, I'm gonna get outside of the radius of the garage door where it dips up as it's coming down. And if I do that, then the height should be the same all the way across. The only issue there is instead of having 72 inches, I've only got 48 inches of depth this way. So I'm gonna go back and check the hood and then I'll make a decision on whether or not I need to put a new piece here at the 48 inch mark. I think I might have overestimated the easiness of this project. Of course, if your garage ceiling does not have drywall on it and everything's exposed, that's gonna make this infinitely easier for you. Okay, so I've got all four of them in here. The garage door does go up and down. This last one, I got a little bit lazy. And in reality, I just didn't want to climb all the way over here in the attic when it's 90 degrees outside. So I ran a couple of screws in at an angle and caught the truss this way and screwed it in from down here without going up in the attic. So that is yet another option. Although if you're gonna do that, I would recommend using more than one screw. So I use three for this one, even though on all the others, since I screwed those in straight, I only use one screw, which should be plenty between all four of these. So now I need to work on stringing a piece from the front to the back on both sides. And then once that's done, I will tie them together. Okay, so the way that I'm attaching all of these pieces is pretty simple. I'm just drilling a pilot hole at a 45 degree angle and then doing that on each side 
of the 2x4 and the other end. So there's four screws in total. So I'm drilling the pilot holes here on the bench. Then I'm starting screws in every one of them. And then I am holding it up and uh, screwing it into what I've got mounted in the ceiling so far. And that's the way I'm attaching all the pieces on the sides. Okay, so here it is. So I ultimately went with uh, two braces from the main anchors on the sides and then three across the middle here. I did think about putting three across this way and then putting boards in between them, but I was running short on screws and doing it this way saved me four screws versus running a third uh, piece in here. But I think this is gonna be plenty to hold the weight of the hood up there. I wouldn't go throw in a couple hundred pounds on there or anything, but uh, there's not very much room either, so I don't think that's very likely, but uh, I think that ought to be good. Now I just need to see if I can get the hood lifted up there and uh, open and close the garage door. Not the easiest thing to move by yourself. I also wouldn't advise doing this if you have a really nice paint job on your hood that you're trying to protect. This one's got a few problems, so I'm not too worried about it. <coughs> nope. <coughs> okay, here lies the negative with doing this. Unless you have a carbon fiber hood, this is probably a two-person job. Okay, well here it is with the hood up there. You definitely want to use two people to do this. Don't do what I did. But everything looks like it's good. I could slide it a little further back here, but I don't think there's any need to do that. The hood catch does stick down a little bit like I thought, but that's not going to be a big deal either. So let's just be 100% certain that the garage door still goes up and down. No problem. Actually, it's a really good thing I didn't push it further back because look, the uh, I've only got about five or six inches of clearance here. So that's uh, pretty perfect. Well, there you have it. Cheap storage for your project car's hood for about $20. And now I've got a, a big open space or almost, I still need to clean here. But now I can move some shelves over here and start getting this part of the garage a little more organized. Okay, so I've got this area cleaned up now. I went ahead and moved a bunch of the stuff that was sitting here in the middle of the garage over tight up against this wall including the shelf and some other things that I still need to get rid of but I've opened up a lot of space in the middle of the garage and I can almost get a car in here again so mission accomplished so that's going to do it for this video thank you very much for watching till the end here make sure you click that thumbs up and like this video if you did subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I will see you in two weeks with another video on the S10 Blazer